Hi friends, welcome to Yoga and Movement with Maud. My name is Maud, and for today's practice, we are going to do yoga for dysautonomia warriors, like myself. <laughs> I was diagnosed with POTS summer of 2021, and then last year, summer, I was re-diagnosed with vasovagal syncope. All that matters is that I have dysautonomia, <laughs> either way. Um, this class is going to be a passive version, more on a restorative, chilled out version. I have classes out there that is more sort of the active version of this of this um, of the practice. And so for today, you might be taking this first thing in the morning, or you may have uh, you may feel a little bit compromised with your symptoms right now, and so you just want to take it easy while still moving the body. As you know, there are so many types of dysautonomia. I think there are 15 or so types. Um, Ehlers-Danlos, POTS, basal vagal syncope, and other, other anomalies as well, and misfires of the autonomic nervous system, as you know. So I will try my best to give you all the guidance and the tips just to ensure safety in your practice. Um, as you can see already here, I have my bolster. I have blocks underneath. But if you are taking this in bed and you're one of those warriors who prefers to be reclined, please position that right now. But if you are one of those people who are completely fine being flat, you know, you can do that as well. I just know there's a lot of us that prefer the reclined position for blood pressure purposes and dizziness and lightheadedness. I also have here my trusty blanket, my pillow, and of course, my electrolytes, which are, as you know, our best friend <laughs> for most of us. So yeah, whatever it is that you have, just grab it, feel safe, and we are going to get started here in our more passive practice. So I want you to situate yourself on your bed or your pillow, whatever furniture you have. And if you could just bend your legs right now and the knees are pointing towards the ceiling and having your uh, feet a lot wider than hip width apart, just place your elbows down on something. It could be your bed or it could be on a blanket just so that you can sort of meet the ground or the floor halfway. And already, how you're placing yourself on top of your prop or on your mat or on your bed, you're already trying to tune in with any feelings of tension and stress and you can just start to close your eyes instead of addressing those right away and just starting to feel this sense of looking inward without judgment, without feeling defeated. And in fact, congratulating yourself for being here and for even taking this class. If closing the eyes is not comfortable, just let your eyelids feel heavy and feel a length in the back of the neck as you turn your palms up to the ceiling. Let's inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh. One more time, inhale in. Open the mouth and sigh. And as you're here, inhale through the nose. What if you also exhaled out through the nose and make the exhales a little bit longer than your inhales? It has been proven, scientifically proven, that longer exhales really make it easier for us to down-regulate our nervous system. And for those of us with pots, our nervous system is already kind of wacky <laughs> and, you know, active, high stress and high strung. So let's do the best we can to just melt the skin of our back down and our furniture to soften and deepen the breath without forcing it.
as you're inhaling in, ex feel the expansion of the lungs so your rib cage goes up and out. And as you exhale, come back to home base. If at any time you feel like knocking the knees towards each other to be more relaxed, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, if you want to keep the knees apart as you keep breathing, do that as well. Breathing in and out. Again, no judgments, no feelings of defeat. Instead, gratitude and hope. We're doing the best we can every day. Take one big breath, inhale. And then exhale it out. If your knees were not together, you can separate them out right now. And then start to take windshield wipers. So start dropping your knees to the left. And then inhale center, dropping your knees to the right. And if you have Ehlers-Danlos, if you already know you're dealing with hypermobility in your joints, you don't have to go too far. Just enough to feel some mobility in your hips. waking up the body if you are doing this first thing in the morning let's do one more windshield wiper left and right beautiful come to center whether you're lying flat or if you're reclined just send your knees to be underneath sorry your feet to be underneath the knees wiggle wiggle your hips right here and then lengthen one leg could be your right could be your left Interlace your fingers and then place them on your hamstrings. And just do some free form ankle circles here. Spreading the toes any amount. And like I said, we're not aiming for a super straight arrow leg right here. We're just trying to get some movement in. We're trying to get <laughs> this extremity, right? A little bit upside down, an inverted position. So it's higher than our heart. And so we're sending the blood back to the upper body a little bit convenient <laughs> and then just flex and, and point the toes and the ankles starting to wake up those calves like I said this is a more chill practice so go slow go at your own pace and please don't forget to breathe otherwise this would not be yoga this would just be us making pretzels out of our body <laughs> beautiful and then just pl either place your right heel on top of your knee or just do a figure four i am just going to place my heel on top of the knee the opposite knee just to emphasize that this is not a huge figure four especially for those of us with hypermobility issues just place at the top hands on the belly and breathe Inhale in, exhale out, one more breath, inhale, and then exhale, nice job, place that foot down, lift the alternate leg, interlace your fingers behind that hamstring, Revisit those ankle circles and any chance you can also spread those toes. A little bit of engagement in these teeny tiny joints we call toes. Again, not going for a super, super straight leg. If you are laying flat on your back and having a straight leg is easy for you or too easy, just watch and see if you can just get to that middle ground, that Goldilocks, right? And then start to just flex and point the toes. Flexing at the ankles, pointing the toes. One, two, and last three. Nice job. 
Let go of the hands, let go of the leg, and again, ankle or that heel can just be on top of the knees. Hands on the belly. Just breathe, breathe, breathe right here. Maybe we can just pretend we're kind of just laying out on the beach right now, <laughs> wherever you are. And you may be at the beach right now, but for a lot of us, heat intolerance is <laughs> an issue. So it's okay, wherever you are. It's all about mentality and it's all about attitude. See, we just look like we're chilling here in our, in our pool bed. <laughs> no big deal. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Big inhale. Big exhale. And then slowly let go of that leg. I want you to lengthen your left leg right now. We're going to do just a twist, a supine twist towards the left. And so if you're reclined like me and this feels comfortable for you, just keep yourself reclined. Otherwise, you can lay flat as well. But as you're lengthening that left leg, bring that right knee towards the chest. Just have a little bit of squeeze right here to inhale. And as you're exhaling, bring that right knee towards the left. I already have my trusty blanket and pillow right here. So I'm not going to go far. But try to see if you can get that right shoulder down with the on the bed or the mat, whatever it is. But a nice, gentle twist here in the spine. Never letting go of the breath. Feeling an expansion here in your rib cage as you inhale. Friends, let's down regulate the nervous system. Exhale longer. It's super easy for us to judge ourselves and to say that we're not doing much. It's easy to feel lame and think of ourselves as lazy. Let's flip the script because we're doing what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to listen to our bodies and right now that's exactly what you are doing. And that is not defeat, that is not laziness. If you wanna stay in this twist longer, press pause on the video. Otherwise, take your last breath, inhale, and then exhale. And then uncross that right knee, squeeze it to the chest one more time, and then slowly lower. Let's do the other side because there's this thing called the other side, right? Send the left knee in. Hug it in towards the chest first, for the waking up that hip flexor. And anytime you're ready, cross it over to the right side. I'm going to bring my trusty blanket and pillow over on this side so I can just chill and I can just hang and not have to think about too much. Encourage your palms to face up so that you don't get this tendency to grip or to hold on to something. Down regulating the nervous system can be more challenging for a lot of people, even those that do not have this autonomia, right? And for a lot of us, we really need to remind ourselves to just down regulate, try to breathe through it and just be okay with taking our time Friends, no huge expectations here. Breathing, inhale. Letting go, exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more.
more time. Inhale. And then exhale. And then slowly across the legs. Set your hips to center. Lift both feet, lift the legs up in the air. Your hands could be behind the thighs. And just let's get these nice, slow motions of the legs just opening and closing. Again, remind yourself this is a more passive practice. So if you'd rather rest your hands down and just let the legs move, that's fine. If you want to hold on to them a little bit, that's fine. But just separating and getting them together. You also realize you're kind of finding a cadence here with the movement. So if you are realizing that, maybe inhale as you open. And then exhale as you close. And since we want the exhales to be longer, maybe closing them in takes a little bit of a longer time. Maybe. One more time like this. And then slowly lower the feet and the legs. Our last um, supine pose here, our supine just means that your back is down on the bed or the mat if you're looking up. Get the soles of the feet to touch each other and just slowly open the knees out. And like my trusty blanket and pillow here, you could place something underneath your thighs just so you feel supported. You don't have to fight through something. So grab those, please. Otherwise, we're not going to stay here for a really long time. And just place your hands on the belly or maybe one hand in the heart and the other on the belly. And just breathing in and out. No huge sense of anticipation or expectations. Yoga has really taught me to appreciate the here and now. Yoga has really taught me to let go of the person that I used to be. And yoga is also teaching me to not have to anticipate the future too much because whatever we do, there are a lot of things that are not within our control. And yes, <laughs> The autonomic nervous system is one of those because it's auto autonomous, right? It, they do things that we don't think about. The breathing, the sweating, blood pressure, our heart rate, our s how we swallow and things like that. And so there's a huge sense of surrender that we can learn from a yoga practice. And this is the whole point. It's not to make shapes. It's so deeper than a physical practice. That's for damn sure. One more breath here. Release the hands. And then place the hands at the side of the knees or the thighs and bring them together. Shift your hips to the left. And then roll over to your right side. Pause right here. This is when we might all differ in terms of shifting positions, but Push yourselves up on this upper hand and please take your time. Hit pause if you just want to chill here, especially for those of us with lightheadedness, right? <laughs> I know I deal with that every day. Gently push yourself up. Spend some time here. Take a breath. And then make your way facing your prop, your pillow, whatever it is. And if you didn't have one before, probably now is the time to do that. My hips are already seated on my heels. I'm going to place my trusty props here on top so I can just be met halfway with it and I don't have to worry about adjusting it. Okay, I'm getting a little bit closer to my prop. Whatever that looks like for you, I want you to crawl your way forward. You can place your hands underneath the chin or you can turn your head to the left or turn your head to the right, whatever feels good. But now, Let's just get this experience right here, this shape, to get us into a more chilled out state. So close the eyes. 
get any wiggles out of the way and just breathe. With every exhale, feel your chest just melt towards your furniture. If your furniture is a little bit on the flat side, just hug it in like a teddy bear. And always just let your hands go. Just encourage your palms to face up so that you are not tempted to hold on to something or to grip on towards something. Inhale in. Exhale out. If you want to spend a little longer time here, you can always grab something so that you can sit on top of something and you can spend a bit more time. Press pause in the video. Otherwise, send your hands on your props or on the ground and gently walk yourself up. Hands can be on the props or on the ground, but keep this hips on heels or hips on props position. Let's just slowly, slowly, slowly inhale our arms up. And as you exhale, open the arms to twist towards your left side. If you are in a different seated position, crisscross applesauce, whatever it is, just honor that. What matters here is you are getting some rotation in your spine. Inhale the arms up. And twist back to center. Twist to your right, rather. One more time, inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. See, that's my brain, right? <laughs> that's our brain sometimes. We mean one thing, but we say another. <laughs> Inhale, center. Slow, slow breaths to the right. There you go. I got it right this time. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to heart, center. Let your fingers touch your heart and your chest. Spend a few moments here just closing the eyes or keeping your eyelids heavy. I'm going to turn towards you right now, but just keep yourselves there with your hands towards on your chest. I'm wanting to face you all so that Together, we can perhaps say out loud our mantras. And if you don't know what that is, it is that thing that you tell yourselves on maybe a bad symptom day, on a not so great day, and it keeps you going. So if you have a mantra, go ahead and say that here right now three times. Otherwise, I am going to share my mantra. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to say it out loud right now. I am strong. I am stronger than this. And I am strongest when I am kindest to myself. I am strong. I am stronger than this. And I am strongest when I am kindest to myself. Take a little bit of a bow. Thank yourselves, congratulate yourselves for taking the time 
to be here and to participate in this practice. It has been my honor. Thank you so much. Let's all just root for each other, be a part of a community that supports you, and I hope that you feel loved, supported, and lifted by people that are close to you. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye. Take care. <laughs>